Hey Karnakazi here, I'm going to help you out with uh, teaching you how to get Halidom armor, uh, level 85 Halidom specifically. Um, this is going to be a really quick video, so really, it's a really simple process honestly, so let's just go over uh, quickly uh, everything you need to know. So real quick, let's just go over exactly what is Halidom armor. Well, Halidom armor is an armor type that is frequent for PvPers. Now, why is it so common among PvPers? Because the set has pretty good stats and it's fairly easy to obtain all the pieces of armor you need, compared to weeks, even months of grinding for legendary armor. On top of that, legendary armor and Halidom level 85 specifically armor actually are kind of the same in terms of PvP stats. In PvE, of course, they're drastically different, but in PvE, they're actually on par with each other. I don't think one of them is specifically better than the other. Um, I haven't seen direct proof, and I haven't, I've, all I've heard is that everyone says that they're exactly the same. So, why wouldn't you go for 85 Halidom armor? So, for refresher's sake, let's just go over the tier list in terms of item rankings for PvP. At the very bottom, there's common and uncommon. People don't normally use this for PvP. And then there's rare, which is above uh, common and uncommon. Above rare is unique, which is where most, uh, mostly everybody sits. And you can say either above that is legendary or equal to it is legendary. But on top of both unique and legendary is epic. And we all know how hard epic items are to get. So let's just not even talk about that for now. What these tiers do in terms of PvP is they affect your stats. Epic tier obviously has the best casting speed, movement speed, and attack power in PvP, and Chronicle offers the worst stats only in the PvP channel. You see there's PvE stats and there's PvP stats. If you look at the item and switch between the two, you can see the difference. So that's why armor tiers and tiers in general uh, make a difference in terms of PvP. So, where is level 85 Halidom? Well, it's in Zelva, Castle of the Dead. All you gotta do is simply walk in, push the big red button that says Scenario Dungeons, and that's it. You just go in, it gives you a random mission, typically just to finish the dungeon. And once you beat it, you get a Halidom Fragment Box. You get one box for each scenario you run. Each box gives you one to five fragments. That's it. You can do it on any difficulty, it doesn't matter, it won't change the outcome. So you can do it on normal and finish the dungeon in a minute and a half. Super duper easy. Um, one full express mode turn off, Neo Contract Fatigue Bar, and a 156 pot, and a 50 fatigue pot, was enough to get me 145 fragments in an hour and 30 minutes. That's enough for a whole piece right there. Technically making one Halidon piece a day possible, and depending on how many armor pieces you need, it could take you about 7 to 10 days to complete your farming of level 85 Halidon armor. So relax, find a good show to watch, and just kind of enjoy it. That's the only way to make it less tedious. Be sure to collect data chips from the egg things and oblivion meteors from the chests. You don't need the meteors for Halidom, but given that there's no actual Halidom armor for sub equip or magic stone slot, there's a shop in Zelva that you can trade oblivion, uh, oblivion meteors, and you can get unique rank sub equip and magic stone. You can probably maybe find a better unique rank uh, item to fill these two slots, but this worked for me because I had a lot of alts that I did this on, so if you're an unfunded player, you can just feel free to do that. Although it's going to take you a little while to get all those meteors. Even though that's technically all you really need to know, I'm going to go over just a little bit more stuff with you anyways. Um, in order to even make these uh, Halidon pieces, you're going to need a magic sealed level 85 uh, rare converter, um, and you're going to need uh, the specifically the magic sealed rare item of what you're looking for. Um, you can find these randomly in dungeons, or you can buy them in, uh, I believe you can buy them in Auction Hall, or just other players. Personally, all I do is I just go do Hell Mode, and I find a bunch of them by doing that. They just drop like candy. You just make sure it's the what type you want, like let's say you're a Soulbender, you use cloth armor, you're going to want to make sure it's a level 85 cloth, or just a level 85 accessory that's magic sealed, and then you just keep it, keep it in your safe or something, and wait till you have all the stuff you need to turn it into a Haldon piece. As for the converter itself, it drops from the bosses in Zelva, I mean, or rather, Castle of the Dead. Um, it's not too rare, but it's kinda, if I had to give it like a percentage drop rate, I'd say it's like 8 or 7%. I find it at least like every day, like 2 or 3, but you know, it might be a little annoying if you're constantly expecting to look for it, or rather impatient. Um, as for that, all the other stuff you're going to need are data chips, which you can get from breaking the eggs. Uh, I mentioned that before. You're going to need fuse cubes, which are from Timegate, but I just buy them on the auction hall. And you're going to need 
common, uncommon, rare, and unique souls. You can get these by disassembling the uh, items that uh, correspond to that tier. Unfortunately, unique uh, souls are going to be the most difficult. All I did was go on auction hall and find the cheapest unique rank items I can find. No matter the level, doesn't matter. As long as it gives a soul, just find the highest level disassembler and disassemble them for the souls you need for each piece. Um, aside from that, once you have all that stuff, you go into your use inventory, find your magic sealed rare 85 converter, and find you you, you right click it, and then use it on the magic sealed rare you want to turn into a howdum. And remember, make sure it's the type of armor you need. Maybe you can you want it to be a specific rank like superior or a specific uh, reinforcement level or whatever. Just make sure it's the right level, it's 85, the right armor, and then you click on it. It shows you all the items you need. If you have all of them, all you have to do is click OK, and there you go. You have a Halodon piece for that uh, slot that you decided on. All you have to do is do this every day uh, until you have all your armor slots filled, and that's it. So that's all there really is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped you out. See you guys later, and happy DFOing.